King Belshazzar, the ruler of Babylon, had a big feast. A thousand guests came to eat and drink with the king. During the party, King Belshazzar brought out gold and silver containers for his guests to drink from. The containers had been taken from God's temple in Jerusalem. The king was misusing them. While the king and his guests drank, they worshipped their false gods, gods made of gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Suddenly the feast was interrupted. A hand appeared at the wall, and its fingers began writing a message. The king watched the hand, and he was very afraid. His face was pale and his legs shook. The king stared at the message on the wall, but he didn't understand what it meant. The king called for the wise men in his kingdom. If anyone can tell me what this message means, I will give him gifts and an important job in my kingdom, he said. The wise men came, but none of them knew what the message meant. King Belshazzar and his guests were upset. Then the queen remembered Daniel. Daniel was wise, so Daniel was called to the palace. Daniel saw the message and understood what it meant. The message was from God. Daniel reminded the king about what happened to his relative, King Nebuchadnezzar. God made King Nebuchadnezzar great, Daniel said. But King Nebuchadnezzar thought too much of himself, so God punished him. King Belshazzar had not learned from Nebuchadnezzar's mistakes. King Belshazzar did not love God. He loved himself the most, and he worshipped false gods. Then Daniel read the message aloud and told the king what the words meant. The words on the wall were Mene, Tekel, and Parson. Mene meant that God had counted the days of the kingdom. The king wasn't going to be king anymore. The next word, tekel, meant that God had given the king a report card, and he had failed. The word parson meant that Babylon would be split up and taken over by its enemies. That night, God's message came true. King Belshazzar was killed, and a new king named Darius took over Babylon. God humbled the proud king of Babylon by taking away his kingdom. King Jesus willingly humbled himself by dying on the cross for our sin. God raised up Jesus and gave him honor forever. When we humble ourselves and trust in Jesus, God will raise us up to enjoy Jesus in his kingdom forever.